think you have a very good eye with liposuction in terms of what is going to be the proper balance for each patient. I think that liposculpting is really more of an accurate term than liposuction because it isn't suction. You are contouring and sculpting and it really is very artistic. These are some of the instruments that I use. What I'm using to put the numbing fluid in is a little cannula we call an infiltration cannula and it's got a round end and I'm inserting this under the skin and letting the fluid, the tumescent fluid, flow into the fat. Even as I'm doing the, the, the numbing for the 20 minutes or so, I've got to be very slow and methodical with it. I think a lot of surgeons use other staff people to do their numbing. I don't trust that. I do it all myself because if you're rough with that part of it, patients are going to feel quite a bit and not trust you. So I do all of that myself and use the infiltration cannula to let the fluid flow in. During the contouring and sculpting itself, I have a very particular way of going about doing it. I start with micro cannulas and the largest I ever use is three millimeters in size and the smallest I use is about a millimeter and a half in size. I lay my cannula essentially right on top of the muscle and I start making my thousands of tunnels very precisely in this fat layer. I approach it from two different directions. I always crisscross my passes to be very smooth and uniform. And as I move up in the fat layer, I then gradually start to change over to different instruments that are smaller. Now I'm going to switch over to a cannula that I call a finishing cannula. I actually had this, this cannula designed and built for me many years ago. And it's a, it's a little secret tool that I use that really is a great finishing cannula at the surface of the skin. There's no irregularities or lumps or indentations or bumps. And with this, I can control exactly how much skin retraction I choose to get by how I rasp the surface of the skin. So it's all how I do my contouring sculpting here. You're feeling the vibrations all the time of where you are. And that, again, is one of the reasons why I don't like lasers or ultrasound that are melting fat because with those things, I lose the tactile feeling of it. Exactly how much I'm bringing areas down, I'm losing control with those things. That's how I approach liposuction and this mentality that you should suck as much fat out as possible. People should understand it's not the way to approach it. And it's one of the biggest mistakes uh, in liposuction surgery today.